guys is Matt Hoochie with Sawhorse, and I was walking by a booth, and they said they can print a house. They said last year in the parking lot, they printed something that was like, you said 140,000? 400, 400 square feet. 400 yeah. square feet, like during the show. So they can kind of tell us a little bit about that, what the, the design capabilities are, and how this works for your project. All right, George, so you guys printed 400 square feet, and how many days did that take last year? Printed it all in a day. Uh, invited everybody in for happy hour at the end of the day. So set the printer up. Uh, experienced team sets the printer up in a, in a day, day and a half. You're up and printing the next day. And uh, we print with Planetop 3D ink. So we're here with our partner, Mape. And so I noticed that you've got like the basically the holes in the in the center and whatnot. So like with that, you can run insulation, mechanicals. Or how does that work? Yeah, how do you, exactly. How do, you plan, how do you guys plan around all the mechanicals that need to be run through the system? Yeah. So if you want to print a structural wall, uh, we've been approved through AC five hundred nine only system that's coded for all three parts of AC five hundred nine, which is the wall system, the material, and the printer. Uh, so if you were going to print a structural wall, you would fill this with thirty five hundred psi grout. If you weren't using this as a structural wall and you wanted to use it as a shear wall with a post and frame structure, uh, you could insulate directly in this cavity. You can run electric in here by running conduit. Uh, you could also run EMT on the outside. You typically stub your plumbing up through the slab and then fur out and place your plumbing. So if a pipe broke in the wall, you didn't have to cut the concrete wall open. Uh, and then you do expose ductwork or put the ductwork in the attic. Now, I heard you mentioning someone just someone earlier, like as far as finishes, you can supply stucco directly to this? Yeah, exactly. You can stucco the face. We've seen some of our customers directly paint the face, and it gives it really a great look. Uh, so, And some people prefer the, the 3D look yeah. combined with kind of like nice wood and stuff like that. It gives it a really earthy tone. It's really cool. Now, what about moisture and stuff like that? Is it, is it, um, does it have a permeating? Is it moisture resistant? So water isn't going to get through the system? How do you guys deal with rain and, and whatnot, the elements? Yeah, absolutely. So just like... Uh, any concrete, this really does well with moisture. We have minimum air entrainment requirements that will be tested by your inspector on site, but it's also a very dense, uh, a very dense mortar. Uh, there's the entire mix is fine. So there's no coarse aggregates, so this really does provide excellent moisture resistance. And I saw that you are partnering with MyPay, which is known for having different color mixtures and stuff like that. So. Can you choose your color? Say if somebody just want to leave it raw, like go, or is it is it all like the same color? So this comes, yeah, this comes pre-blended in a bag, and it's all this color. You can apply a color later for color development. Something we're looking to do hopefully in the future. But we've seen customers paint. We had a customer uh, R squared paint a really vibrant blue on their yeah. print, which was really cool. So it's interesting to see what people are starting to do. It's also the possibilities of using uh, a sealant on top, polyurea sealant to completely eliminate water penetration from the wall. So what are some of the more common uses for this? Like what kind of structures are being printed uh, right now in 2023? Yeah, we're seeing mostly single story, single family homes, but uh, really the possibilities are endless. You can move the printer around to do light commercial industrial work, uh, but we're seeing a lot of homes in the 1200 to 1600 square foot range right now. The printer can print up to two stories, so it's really kind of exciting what it can do. Is there a limitation, limitation on the square footage or like the footprint? So the printer is modular. The base printer is about 26 by 26 square feet of print area, but that can be expanded to 40 feet in one direction. And we can continue to expand the other direction uh, depending on how many rails you want it to put on Got pretty it. much infinitely. So you can just like move it around as if you want to like just do the, if you want to do something a little bit wider. Exactly. Okay. And what's the best place to uh, find out more about you guys? Yeah, you can look us up at bb3d.io and uh, we'd be happy to talk to you. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks for watching this video, and I want to thank all of the vendors that I've been interviewing at the International Builder Show, and also KBiz for providing this amazing information. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we're going to create more content just like this, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get more information. Now, if you guys have specific questions on any of these products, what you do is like leave a comment in the section below, and I'll take it back to the manufacturer, ask that question, and get a response from you, and probably create a video response just for that. So appreciate all the people that have subscribed and supported us throughout the years and manufacturers as well. So thanks again and see you guys next time.